Oh! You <laughs> have to cut that out. My bad, guys. So, uh, what I want to talk about today, guys, is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I personally love this game. And, wait, wait, just stop, stop. Before you say, you stupid, fat, squeaking little bitch. Stop talking about this. No one cares about you. Stop. I have some experience on the game. I'm prestige level 5. Prestige 5. With three and a half days played on Yeah, three and a half days played on the game. And I would be showing you guys gameplay right now, but I don't have an Elgato. You know, hashtag first world problems. And, uh, thing about this is, Advanced Warfare is fast. Faster than all the other Call of Duties. Because of the exosuits, of course. And I think because of these exosuits being so fast. It leads to the spawns being kind of hectic. Now, when the spawns being kind of hectic, you know people are, of course, going to spawn behind you. But don't panic, guys. This happens with pretty much every Call of Duty, and just because it's happened with this Call of Duty doesn't mean anything. They're gonna fix it. We know how Sledgehammer is. They're great down there. Shout out to you guys. From my, you know, two subscribers. But, um... thing about Sledgehammer is... They respond to the community, is what it seems like. And I think what they're gonna end up doing... Is buffing the submachine guns nerfing down the assault rifles just a little bit with like you know close quarters combat yeah that kind of stuff you know hashtag that military vocabulary and uh... Not, I think that's what they're gonna end up doing with this next batch and listen guys thank you thank you Sledgehammer for fixing those camos Oh my god, talk about a godsend. Like, that's, that's crazy. And, basically, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, in a nutshell, is faster than any other Call of Duty. It's funner than any other Call of Duty. I have about 30 days played on Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, and ghosts. 30 days played on all of them. That's where I stopped playing them. And, you know, just because the, the point, you know, hashtag that o OCD right there. The hashtag that stutter. But, uh, um, yeah. That just happened. But, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is best, better. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is better than any other Call of Duty that's came out so far, in my opinion. I tried to go back to the old Call of Duties, I tried to play the classic playlist. It's just not better, guys. There won't be any Call of Duty Ghost or World at War flop going on right now. Now, the reason, in case you guys are wondering why I didn't say World at War, I had 30 days played on it's because I didn't play World at War. Because that game sucked. Mainly because of all the hackers. And. <sighs> that leads me to my next thing. Hackers in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Just like the hackers in Ghost. I mean, I know s hackers in Advanced Warfare. That were hackers in Ghost. That I revealed and I actually got them banned. I found I found the same people on Advanced Warfare. And that's just crazy to me. It's like I guess it's because of the whole 
they need to do some of the same basic clan stuff and that kind of thing as advanced warfare and then there comes once we're out of the multiplayer which by the way guys I would say about 9.5 out of 10 for you sledgehammer just because the launch the spawns and some of the guns were a little rough and then the kill streaks are really weak. Oh my god. The Warbird and the SS1 Vulcan and the SS1 Goliath and the Paladin. The only good ones are the UAV system hack and bombing run, basically. That's what I run. <laughs> and the, I think they need to buff them. Definitely. And Let's move on to the campaign before I start crying, thinking about the kill streaks. Oh god. In the campaign I like the campaign. It was like a movie. Now I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but it had that new Call of Duty it had that new exosuit and it just looked amazing. But it still had that same Addicting Call of Duty essence that we all love and know. I'm moving on from the campaign before I, you know, start tearing up from how beautiful it was. Just sitting here looking at it. And the co op survival. I'm personally not a big fan of this because I like zombies. And that's just me. I like the whole idea of pack a punching and the weapon box and it, that's just that stuff is cool to me. I didn't like extinction that much. It was kind of boring and just not really that fun. And then I don't like survival. I didn't like it in Modern Warfare 3. I don't like it in this game. Purely because it's just no fun for me at all. None. And I think what they did with the extra zombies around is a good idea. Hopefully they add some good DLC to it. Because that was, the extra round was fun. I do have to admit. That, like, that is straight out of Daisy. Them zombies running up on walls. And grabbing you out of the helicopter. But. And the thing. And guys, don't worry if you're not watching the video. I wouldn't blame you. No one wants to sit here, stare at some poor kid's yellow teeth and double chin. I understand, and I'm a ginger too. I know. But basically, what I'm saying is, Advanced Warfare is a really good game. It just had a rough launch, guys. You can just stick through it. I feel that this game is going to be a good game. It was there for me for Black Ops 2, for Modern Warfare 2, for Call of Duty 4. Wasn't there for Ghost. And it wasn't completely there for Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops 1. Wasn't there at all for World at War. And those... All I'm saying is, guys, just... Have a good day. Keep playing Events Warfare. It's gonna get better than it is, and it's already pretty much the best call to do. So, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful.